Starting at your signature assignment guidelines, you want to click on the quick facts. This will bring you to the census webpage. You will select the state that you are working with. I am going to work with Massachusetts. Click the go button. And then I'm going to select the city that I am looking at. I want to look at Lowell, Massachusetts. If you're working in New York and you want to look at one of the boroughs, you might want to work with the county. I will click go for Lowell, Massachusetts. Here I see quick facts and this combines census data as well as American Community Survey data. What you want to do, while you can scan these, what you want to do is click on the Browse Datasets for Lowell. Here you want to click on the Demographic Profile for 2010. And when you get the data, you want to download this file as an Excel file. Click OK. Then download and then open that file. You will get it in Excel and you want to enable editing if you get that yellow band. Now you want to go back a page and then down where it says census 2000 you want to download the general demographic characteristics and again you'll see the table and you want to download, choose Excel, click OK, click download again and then open your file. Again, enable editing, and that will allow you to work with the file. What I would do in this case is I would double click the tab and call this 2000 underscore Lowell Census Data. Now I will also go back to the 2001, 2010, sorry, and call it 2010 underscore Lowell census data. Then what I can do, which is a little trick in Excel, okay, let me close the extra windows I have open. If I right click the tab and I go to move or copy, I can actually move this tab into the same file as my 2010 data. So now I'm in the same file. Then I'm going to click save as, save it to some convenient area. In this case I'm going to save it. I want to select Excel Workbook as the file type, click Save, and now I have my different tables to work with. You're asked to look at specific demographic characteristics, one of which is race. So what I would do in this case is create a new tab and call it Data Calculation. Then returning to the 2000 data, I might want to copy the race data. So from race through the Hispanic rows, control C for copy, or you can right click copy. Then go back here, paste this data, and you'll see that there's some extra columns. And you might want to get rid of them in order to feel like you're working with more clean data here. And what I want to do is put a label here for 2000. And then I will go over to the 2010 data. And I will select through the Hispanic categories and copy. Go over to this side. And I'm going to leave a column in between just for visual aid. Again, you see these empty columns that are added. You can delete them. <coughs> delete. Oh. Don't know why it's doing that. Let's do it and delete. Okay. 
And what you want to do, one of the key things to doing here is that you want to make sure that you're looking at the everything lined up. So you see that there's a total population here, but there is none here. So you might want to push this down a little bit by highlighting these two cells, right clicking, insert, and shift cells down. You always want to make sure that you're only highlighting that which you want to push down. So let's say that we want to look at the difference in reported rates for the white population. And the rate of change that I've asked you to calculate is new minus old over old. And to turn it into a percent, you basically add, um, add the times 100 attribute. So to calculate the rate of change, we're going to do equal 100 times. Open two parentheses because you're going to do a couple of steps in the formula. The first is to subtract new minus old. Close that set of parentheses because then you will be conducting a division. Then you want to add the dividing character symbol and then click on the old cell again and close those parentheses and you'll see that your formula is complete and you can hit enter and you get 10.95. So basically the white population in Lowell, Massachusetts decreased by 11%. Another way that you can do this if you like using the percent format and decimals up there, you can remove the 100, so highlight 100, delete, hit enter, and you get a decimal. Then highlighting that cell and giving it the percent attribute, you will see that it turns into the 11%. You can increase the decimals to see where that 11 is coming from. And then you can copy this formula and paste it if, for instance, black is a category that lines up. Copy, paste, and you'll see that the formula applies itself to those cells. So we see here new, old. As you scroll down, however, for two race and for Hispanic, they are not lined up. So when you go to do these, you want to make sure that you're clicking on the correct cells or move these pieces as necessary. What you can do once you conduct all of these percent change calculations is that you can save this file and submit this as your part. And always remember to label your columns. So here we want to do the percent rate of change. And one thing that you can do is you can always highlight this colored so that your headings stand out. Open up your columns as needed. But generally, this is what I'm interested in, but I want you to submit it with the original data next to it so that I can ensure that your calculations are correct before you proceed with your final signature assignment. Always save this work, and the Excel file here that I've presented to you um, should be what you submit for signature assignment part two. Please feel free to reach out with any questions you might have.